Okay, so this is step one. First off, you want to download the software called HP USB Disk, and this is found on this website here, File Hippo. You can see the uh, URL. <coughs> Just download that, the latest version, Format Tool 223. Once you download that, you then need to go on um, your control panel. In your control panel, you'll find hardware and sound. I think it was hardware and sound. And then you go on, where is it? security sorry it was security administrative tools computer management device management and this is where you'll find your hard drive that's plugged in your external hard drive it's when it loads so on mine it is H. Well, I was already formatted on FAT32. <coughs> um, but on yours, it will probably say unallocated or it needs formatting. So, all you need to do is just format it to NTFC. And then. Um, make a new. Uh, make a new drive so once your drive has been formatted remember the uh, drive letter you then want to open up the this minimizes minimize please HP USB disk. If you're running Windows 7 like I am, run as administrator, click yes. Now, like I said, this is already done, so um, it, it's come up as FAT32, but um, in your case, it should just come up as NTFC. You can label it PS3 backup. Um, unclick quick format and then start and this will take about 30 minutes depending on the speed of your external hard drive and once that's done then you can um, start backing up on your PS3 so we will return uh, to the PS3 screen okay so we're in the PS3 settings, so what we got to do is go on System Settings. Obviously, make sure your external hard drive is plugged in and formatted in FAT32. Scroll down here, Backup Utility, Backup, and then whenever it loads, there you go. And then trophies will be not backed up by for performing this operation. Uh, you just need to sync that with the server. So yes, yes, and there we go. The PS3 reads your USB drive, click yes. Now I'm not too sure how long this would take, but when I backed up the PS4 that took quite some time. I had to delete a few things because uh, my external hard drive wasn't as big as the PS4 hard drive. This is how you change the hard drive in the PS3 for your new hard drive. And in this case, I'm using um, this HGST 500 gigabyte uh, 2.5 hard drive, and this is actually from my uh, PS4 because I upgraded the PS4 to two terabyte. So you've got to flip your PS3, and this one, I think it was 250 gigs. As you see here, you need to just pry that open. So you just need a, a, a crosshead screwdriver and a flathead. Pop this 
open. Should just pop out. And then we have a screw here. Unscrew that. And then what we need to do is take the side bit off. Probably best if you used a, a flat head. Kind of hard to do it in one hand. And that just pops right out. And then you've got the caddy here. Pull that out, and this is your hard drive. And fairly simple, just unscrew these four, take the hard drive out. and then pop the new hard drive in the caddy same same way and this one's actually the same similar size make sure the connectors are the right way around and then just pop it back in and screw it back on and that's how you change the caddy or change the hard drive in the uh, PS3 so the next step is to download the PS3 system software update and this is the latest version 4.8 or 4.80 and um, so download this and it tells you on this on the official PlayStation website how to do it. <coughs> so put the PS3 updat.pup this file here, which is about 200 megabytes, put that into your another like USB stick, and then plug that USB stick onto your PS3, and then you should be able to install the latest version update onto the new hard drive you're using. So this is the last step. Once you have finished. Um, reformat in the new hard drive and install in the update. When it all loads up, go on to system settings and back up and restore. And with this 500 gigabyte hard drive, I got about 462, but only 400 and 412 were free. Um, so you're losing about 80, 80 odd gigs just on the system OS but it's still a lot better than my original 250 so there's my backup data restore and I'm not too sure how long this will take but to back it up it took more than 30 minutes it took about six hours I say um, so one if you do uh, back it up I'd suggest do it overnight and yeah that's that's pretty much my only advice for backing up and restoring your PS3 So once this is done, uh, the only thing you would need to do is to sync your trophies. And that's pretty much it. You've uh, you've got a new upgraded PS3. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.